Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm uh, back with new video. If you click on this video, it's my favorite, uh, favorite products for month of June. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up, subscribe my channel and like this video, share this video if you enjoy. Let me know what are your favorites, uh, what did you use mostly in the uh, month of June. Started skincare and uh, I mentioned it in my obsessions video uh, and this is Lancome Genifique uh, Serum, Advanced Genifique Serum. It is very lightweight serum. Um, it sinks in the skin very quickly and uh, keeps the skin really plump and protects it from uh, the environment. I am not really good in skincare, guys, but I enjoy this serum and I recommend it to anyone, actually. Even if you have a like, combination of the skin, this is really beautiful. It doesn't make you greasy or anything. Um, and uh, it's anti-aging product. Um, if you want to see uh, my skincare uh, routine morning or evening, let me know in the comment section. I'll film a video for you. But uh, this uh, really feels good for my uh, skin. This is Garnier Vitamin Serum Cream Glow Booster. Looks like this. Uh, they have also SPF uh, 50. Uh, kind of uh, in this bottle, but uh, it's without uh, vitamin C. This is only 25. Uh, so what I do, uh, I sometimes go a uh, little bit of this spray over this, uh, which is 50. And um, this is super nice because you can use this uh, spray over makeup or I often use it um, after this, uh, um, after this one or with combination with other day cream that I use. Um, but uh, shortly about this one, this is really beautiful brightening serum because there is vitamin C. It, uh, I see difference almost immediately on my skin and uh, it doesn't keep, it doesn't make you greasy. It wears nicely underneath my makeup, which is important for me that it doesn't kind of uh, uh, that it sinks into the skin really quickly and uh, I can use makeup over it and uh, doesn't disrupt uh, the makeup uh, or anything so I really enjoy this uh, very much <sighs> I know I repeat myself but if I repeat myself then you know I genuinely enjoy the products so really shortly I have dedicated video on our glass uh, palette face palette this is called Ambient Lightening Palette Golden Rose Edit. So this is, guys, uh, I think uh, limited edition, and you get you get a bronzer, um, blushes, two blushes, and one highlighter. It's just overall really beautiful palette. Uh, it's very pricey, but I feel, from my opinion, it's worth it. Uh, it's perfect. You have everything in one palette. It's great for traveling and it looks beautiful. The powders are so nice. They have a little bit of uh, luminosity in them. Um, they look just gorgeous over textured skin, mature skin, young skin. Uh, so I can highly recommend this product. Uh, you can check my video um, if you want to see full review on this product. Um, but yeah, this is what I really love and I use so much. Really quickly, I would want to mention these two palettes. Uh, one I don't have a really long time, but it's... I just have to mention these because these I use mostly from all the palettes that I uh, own currently. So these two, um, this is the new one. Uh, golden palette from Natasha Denona. Uh, just really quickly beautiful neutral palette uh, with uh, golden taupey uh, shades um, and for anyone who loves these shades uh, I think would love this palette very much. Again I have a video on this palette if you want to see the review and makeup tutorials then uh, check my videos. Uh, another one is Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette, which I wear on my eyes right now. It's beautiful, 
again neutral palette but this is more cool tone and i absolutely love this one uh, as well and this one is absolutely stunning guys uh, the matte shades are so easy to blend uh, like in no time you create a look uh, both palettes has shimmers different kind of finishes i don't think you can go wrong with any of these two I palettes have three lip products guys um i have this um um, 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 um Vicel Love Shine. Is it called Love Shine? Yes, this is Love Shine. Uh, uh, kind of lip balm lipstick in the shade 150. This beautiful muted uh, rose uh, shade, uh, which I wear on my lips right now. Um, I just love Vicel uh, lipstick. They are really pricey, but I feel, I mean, they do uh, the formula really good they are so easy glide on the lips and they are really luxurious if you want to treat yourself like um yeah this is really pretty also love the how stunning is the packaging like Another, another two, I have uh, one a drugstore and one uh, hourglass, uh, one uh, high-end uh, hourglass, um, but they have similar finish, guys, and this is like five uh, dollars, and this is five, six dollars, and this is like 40, around 40. Um, so, uh, uh, they are both nude uh, colors, uh, hourglass is in the um shade sense 110 and uh this is a w7 lip drench ultra glaze color balm in the hot scent and they they are those balmy uh, lipsticks they give you really a kind of a uh, wet looking lips um and i mean uh they are really similar as you can see and they are really long lasting both of them on the lips uh, after i ate uh, the w7 was still there and uh, our glass also didn't fade away so i mean but safe i highly recommend uh, w7 um so this is this is w7 and this is this warm tone is um our glass last two th things that i have i need to mention are these um uh perfumes uh i just who doesn't like to smell good right <laughs> but these are like really nice for uh spring summer um this is channel this is chanel chance tender uh i have this so long time and i used to uh, use this so much i have a half but i have this perfume for years but i always love using this in a uh, hot uh, summer months if i'm like in kind of romantic mood because i feel like this is really sweet uh, but not overly sweet it has kind of innocence uh, feel it smells really uh, like a fruit i will put notes for you guys in right here so uh, if you are not familiar with the scent uh, but this is very fruity, fruity floral, but more fr fruity definitely, and uh, it's it's just smells heavenly. Another one is more kind of um, I would say everyone pleaser. Like this is very casual, but it's not boring. This is Gucci bamboo, and this is more citrusy uh, perfume. Uh, it has a little bit of everything. It's tiny bit sweet citrusy um, um, and it's very also lightweight uh, but uh, I would like wear this more with a casual kind of outfit uh, I would not probably wear this for like evening it is not definitely for me evening scent but uh, mostly for like uh, daytime appropriate it is good with everything I would say if I don't know what to wear i wear this because it's stunning and um not overpowering so you don't choke like people in the room uh, 
which can sometimes happen with some heavy perfumes. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, Gucci Bamboo to check out. Uh, so these are products that I really go like almost on daily basis. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Let me know what are your favorite products and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!